Joining me now, Independent My Women's pleasure. Voice fellow, Kristen Tate. Uh, uh, the ink, it hasn't even really dried. It wasn't dry when the decision came out. And already, you had immediately on Friday, all these companies that were announcing they're going to make economic accommodations for women who are looking for abortions. Meanwhile, you know, I keep hearing the, the, these stories like what Ashley was saying uh, about the economy and then other stories about how this whole decision will have a negative economic impact on poor women. So I just want your thoughts on all of this. Yeah, well, this is a decision that will now be left up to states. States can make their own decisions on how restrictive they want to be based on their populations and their own cultures. But these big corporations like Amazon, Uber, and Starbucks, they keep loudly speaking out about this. I suspect because they're terrified that if they stay neutral and say nothing, they will be protested and slandered online by radical left-wing mobs. But this is a mistake, Charles. American consumers are fed up with woke big business sticking its nose into all of these various political battles. I saw a, a survey online before we went live, a recent one that showed that 63% of executives think they should be speaking out on, on social issues. Only 36% of the American public feels the same way. And this kind of like woke uh, activism, it not only ruins formerly great American companies, it's brought this country to such division that we may be close to a breaking point. And it's actually concentrated the power of determination determining America's values into the hands of a relatively small number of right. investors and, and executives. You know, Chris, and I, it's interesting because I find myself making decisions where to go and buy things and shop where I never did before based on, you know, these, these sort of things that I, I don't even want to know, but now I know and I'm taking my own action. I want you to listen to uh, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. This is something he had to say on CNN yesterday. I want your reaction. I think that uh, reports of the death of democracy in the United States are grossly, grossly exaggerated. Uh, America is a shining city on a hill. Well, he made it clear, right? He, he doesn't believe American democracy is under any kind of threat. And, I, you know, it's just President Biden's over in Europe right now at the G7 meeting. It, it's something I wish he was saying something like this. Uh, instead, you know, it's every time one of our elected leaders speak, you wouldn't you would you couldn't imagine that we're the greatest country in the world. And we got there on the basis of a constitution and the people who really want to do the right thing. Yeah, well, of course he's correct, but all of these claims are all about the left trying to whip up its base into a hysterical frenzy to try to get them to the polls for the midterms. They need something to mobilize their voters because everything is going wrong for the Democrats right now. Look at what's going on in this country. I mean, Americans are struggling to put food on the table, fill up their tanks with gas. You've got kids being indoctrinated into these dangerous ideologies in our public schools. The southern border is wide open. It's crazy. So they just need to create some sort of fear within their voters. They know they can't talk about the really important issues facing voters right now right. Uh, because th these are all the issues where they lose. It doesn't seem to be just politicians, right? I mean, there's a poll by Rasmussen. It shows your top concerns, including the top three for voters, uh, gas prices, inflation, the economy. Legacy media, though, their top things for the stories for the midterms, climate change, abortion rights, and the Ukraine war. And I feel like they deliberately are putting their needle their thumb on the needle of public opinion, and that should not be the role of, 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 the, of the media, certainly not the news media. Yes, this is a diversion effort, obviously, by the legacy media, but I think they're too naive to understand why these diversion efforts just aren't working. You see these big corporate executives of these media companies and the people running the bureau, the bureaus, you know, these aren't people who are worried about filling up their cars with gas or putting food on the table. They are so out of touch with working class Americans, and that's also why their ratings are continuing to plummet. They just yeah. don't get it. Yeah. Hey, well, maybe it's not working. A million folks have switched over to the Republican Party in 43 states. I got to hop, Kristen, but you still holding your Bitcoin? I'm still holding, but I'll buy a little more if it gets down <laughs> below 10,000. I think we're not at the bottom yet. If it gets below 10,000, I'll be right there with you. Thanks a lot.